Hey, welcome to edX world and another video in the IGCSE economics series. This video is going to be about supply. In the previous video, we had discussed in detail about the demand, all the important terminology related to demand, the concepts related to demand. If you remember extension and contraction of demand and the changes in demand, the increase in demand and the decrease in demand. Similar concepts would be applied here and I will quickly walk you through the concepts in the supply chapter. If you've not already watched my video on demand, I would suggest please go and watch that video first. I will also give the link in the description box below and then come and watch this video because this video will make more sense once you watch the video on demand. So let's begin this video. In this video, we first want to understand the meaning of supply, the meaning of individual supply and market supply and the meaning of supply schedule and the supply curve like we did in the demand video. Then we will understand the factors that affect the supply of a product, the law of supply, the movement along the supply curve, similar to demand, there can be extension of supply and contraction of supply. And finally, a change in the entire supply curve, there can be increase in supply or decrease in supply. Supply refers to the willingness and ability of a producer to produce and sell certain quantities of product at different price levels or at different price points. While quantity supplied refers to the quantity that the producer is willing and able to supply at only a single price point. Market supply is the sum total of all the individual supplies of the producers in that industry or in that market. The supply schedule refers to the tabular presentation of the supply producer's supply quantity at different prices and when that tabular presentation is plotted on the graph what we get is the supply curve. So here we have a supply schedule in the previous video on demand I showed you the demand market demand for the gadgets in this video we're going to see the market supply of the gadgets market demand was by the consumers market supply is by the producers. So on the left side, we have the price of the gadget at different prices. What quantities all the producers together are willing and able to supply that is given on the right column. So gadgets supplied given on the right column. Let's plot the different quantities and prices on the supply curve. Similar to demand curve, the Y axis will show you the prices of the gadgets per unit. The X axis is showing the gadgets supplied in thousand units. And we have also labeled our graph on the top, producer's supply of gadgets per year. It is very important to label the graph on top, label your x-axis, label your y-axis and also label the curves. On the y-axis we have the different prices and on the x-axis we have the different quantities plotted. So starting with the prices of $250, at $250 per unit the suppliers are willing to supply only 1000 gadgets per year. So when we plot this point on the graph, we would get a dot here that, that is shown here on the screen. And when you plot all the points, all the prices and the related quantities on the graph, we will get a series of points. Then we would join all the points to get our supply curve, which will be labeled as S. If you notice here, the supply curve is upward sloping, whereas our demand curve was downward sloping. What are the factors that affect the supply of a product? The price of the product, obviously, from think from the producer's point of view that when the prices of the products are high or are rising a supplier would be willing and able to produce more of that product why because that product is more profitable higher the profit more the quantity the supplier is willing to produce and sell in the market while lower the prices less profitable so less quantity the producer is willing to produce and sell in the market cost of production of the product itself now the cost of production also affects the profits of the product directly. So when the cost of production is rising, the product is less profitable. A rational producer will produce and sell less quantities of that product. Whereas when the cost of production is falling, pro the product is profitable. The rational producer will produce and sell more of that product. Cost and profitability of other products. The producer might be dealing in some other products as well. When the cost is falling or the profits of other products are rising. Profits can rise due to falling cost or rising selling prices. When that happens, the producer will shift the resources from the product that we have in hand to the more profitable products and hence the supply will fall. 
whereas when the cost of the other product rises and or the pro product is less profitable the producer will shift the resources from that product to the product in hand and increase the supply of this product technological advancement can happen in industry it can happen in terms of better machinery available to produce a product or the production is possible at lower cost or the production is possible at faster pace in any case the cost of production of the product will fall and the product will be more profitable so the producer will increase the supply of this product indirect taxes and subsidies indirect taxes are taxes that the government charges on the product so when the supplier is selling the product the supplier is responsible for paying a certain percentage of the selling price to the government as indirect taxes so the indirect taxes directly increase the cost of production of the product while subsidies is an amount that the supplier receives from the government if the producer is fulfilling certain conditions in terms of production of a product that the government wants the supplier to do so subsidies would reduce the cost of production of the supplier so an increase in indirect tax or a decrease in subsidy will reduce the profits that a producer can make in the product and that will lead to fall in supply while an fall in indirect tax and an increase in sub subsidies will lead to fall in cost and rise in profits so the producer will increase the supply and then there can be other factors that would influence the supply for example if you talk about agricultural products the weather is a very important factor that affects the supply of favorable weather or favorable weather conditions will increase the supply unfavorable weather conditions will decrease the supply so we have the law of supply here the law of supply states that all other things being equal which is the first part of the definition so let's keep this part aside let's go on to the second part as the price of the good increases the quantity supplied increases and as the price of the product or the good decreases the quantity supplied decreases i've already told you in the previous slide and it is very obvious if the price selling prices are falling producer would be less and less interested in selling that product we will list down all the factors that we discussed in the previous slide again the price of the product is highlighted here whereas other factors are listed in white so the definition of law of supply starts with all other things being equal what are these all other things these are the factors other than the price which are listed in white here so the law of supply assumes that all factors other than the price of the product are constant then only the law of supply is applicable when all other factors are constant uh, the price and the quantity supplied move in the same direction increase in price leads to increase in quantity supplied whereas fall in prices lead to fall in quantity supplied and this is also obvious from the graph that we just saw for the gadgets the supply curve is upward sloping which also explains the direct relationship between the price and the gadgets supplied the producer will move along the supply curve either in form of extension of supply or in form of contraction of supply and similar to what we studied in demand the extension or contraction of supply will happen only due to the changes in price of the product so if you want to understand extension of supply let's assume that currently the producer is producing 5000 units of gadgets at a price of dollars 1000 per unit and the prices of the gadgets in the market rise to $1,250 per unit. At this price, the producer is willing to produce and supply 8,000 gadgets per year. This is known as an extension of supply. So extension of supply is when the prices are rising and the quantity supplied is rising with the price. Similar way, contraction of supply can also be understood here. Let's say the current price is $1,250 per unit and the producer is producing and selling 8,000 gadgets per year. The prices fall to $1.750 per unit. The direct action of the producer would be to reduce the production and sale of the gadgets to 2,500 gadgets per year. This is known as the contraction of supply. So to sum it up again, extension and contraction of supply are the movements along the supply curve and they happen only due to the increase or decrease in price of the product all other factors should remain constant then we have the change in the entire supply curve similar to what we studied in the demand video 
if there is a change in the factors other than price if one or more factors other than price change then there will be a change in the entire supply curve in form of either increase in supply or decrease in supply so we've listed down the factors again so now the change in supply curve will happen due to change in the other factors which are listed in red here and let's understand the increase in supply and the decrease in supply with the help of a graph currently let's say the producer is producing 5000 units of gadgets at price of dollars 1000 per unit it can happen that the product is now more profitable can happen due to various reasons for example fall in cost of production the fall in indirect taxes increase in subsidies or due to any other factor changing the direct impact will be that at the same price of dollars thousand the producer will now be willing to supply a higher quantity which is 8000 gadgets and this change will happen at all price points at each and every price point the producer will now be willing to produce and supply higher quantities compared to before so this directly leads to a right shift of the supply curve which is known as the increase in supply so talking about decrease in supply so currently if the producer is producing 8000 gadgets at a price of dollars 1000 per unit it can so happen that the producer decides to supply lesser quantities at the same price due to changes in factors other than price like increase in cost of production increase in taxes decrease in subsidy and so on so at all price points now the producer would be willing to supply lesser quantities so the effect will be a leftward shift in the supply curve which is known as the decrease in supply again to sum it up increase or decrease in supply will happen due to changes in factors other than price not in the price of the product so let's list down the reasons due to which the supply can either increase or decrease so increase in supply can happen due to decrease in cost of production i told you due to decrease in the price of other products if the other product that the manufacturer or the producer is dealing in is less profitable due to falling prices falling selling prices obviously the producer will shift resources to the current product in hand increase in cost of other products will also have the same impact because the other product is now less profitable better technology is available better technology leads to faster production or production at lower cost decrease in taxes and increase in subsidies and there can be other factors that work in favor of the producer and hence the producer increases the supply similarly decrease in supply can happen due to increase in cost of production increase in the selling price of other products so the producer might decide to shift resources from the current product in hand to the other product because the other product is more profitable decrease in cost of the other product again same impact increase in taxes or decrease in subsidies of the current product and there can be other factors which are not favorable for the producer so the producer decides to decrease the supply even though the prices don't change the producer decides to supply less quantities at each price i hope this video was clear you understood the supply in this video and the demand in the previous video you can watch them again to have a better understanding because in the next video i'm going to cover equilibrium and disequilibrium and there you would need the concepts of demand and supply if you enjoyed the video please like the video please share the video with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon you will get notification as soon as i upload a new video on economics that will be helpful for you i'll see you soon in a new video